Why, hello everyone, long time no see. Um, I am doing my August collective haul today and I am going to be filming more videos. I'm so sorry that I have not been getting to film any videos lately. I've been super, super busy. Oh my god, I am so exhausted because the past couple of days I have been up in like three, four, hours of sleep and then five hours of sleep it's just uh, I've just had really long days but anyways let's start talking about my lack of sleep and let's just get right into the haul so the first thing I got was a pack of earrings from Claris and it looks like this and there are actually little bits of sushi on these if you can see them they have sushi with smiley faces and I'm actually wearing a pair of uh, right now, that's why I there's one missing in the pack, and obviously, anyways, but they're really adorable. They've just got little pieces of sushi on there, and I just thought that they were really cute. Next was this set of bracelets, which has this is the same I am that girl that I held last month, and this one is I am uh, electric, and it has a little medallion that says electric, a lightning bolt, and then a blue little bead and then I got, I got another one that was uh, the dreamer one and it has dreamer the um a light blue bead and a star that has rhinestones on it the uh, next uh item that i purchased from claire's was this uh makeup bag this is bag of tricks and i needed another makeup bag so i just got this one and it's leopard it matches my pink one so there's that next from claire's i actually got two piercings yesterday i got my two uh cartilage piercings right up at the top here and i really like them they're closer together than these ones but i like that so anyway i just like unique piercings so moving on so since it is getting closer to halloween uh claire's has we've received our all of our halloween stuff and we got the Disney Villains um, Halloween stuff. And there were three sets of earrings. And I couldn't decide which ones I liked better. So I got all of them. I mean, because that's what you do, right? So the first one is Cruella de Vil. And there are the, these little drops like that. There's paw prints and then the actual picture of her. I got Ursula ones, which have shells, and then Ursula. And then my favorite, uh, Maleficent ones, which there is the crow, and then Maleficent right there on the little oval -y thing. The next thing that I got that was Halloween-ish was this a flower crown. Of course, I always get flower crowns, but I don't have a black one, so this one is perfect. The next hair accessory that I got was this set of clips, and these are adorable for Halloween. They are like skeleton hands, but they're bloody, and they've got like little spiders on them, and I love them. I think they're so cute just to like pin my hair back when it becomes October, and then it's more, oh, sorry, more appropriate. So the next to last thing that I got at Claire's was this beanie. This was also in the um, Halloween section, but it says hashtag bite me. Now, when I was younger, uh, bite me, like you didn't want to say that to people because it was kind of like rude. But I guess we're selling it in a kid's store now, so all right. And the last thing I got from Claire's was this headband and this is gorgeous it is gold and just has leaves on it beautiful gorgeous gorgeous headband this is so like greek goddessy and i cannot wear to wait like, wait wait to wear oh my god language i don't guys i honestly do not know what the english language is anyways but i can't wait to wear that to school, work, whatever, just anywhere, maybe just going out on town, but 
Next, moving on. The next place that I went was PacSun, and I got a pair of high-waisted pants from them, and these are just, these are the same brand that my uh, shorts are from. These are the Bullhead Denim Co., and this is such soft denim. I'm pretty sure it's like stretch denim, but these are from California, like LA, whatever this brand is. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, so, I'm just really exhausted. But yeah, these are just, just simple, nice, high-waisted pants, and I love them, and can't wait to wear them during the fall. The last thing I got from PacSun was a, this bag. This is a beautiful, gorgeous, like, eggplant color and it has so many pockets there's this pocket on the front which zips shut but then when you pull it up it it's a magnet and it becomes like a huge pocket and then there's this little one on the front that has stuff in it like i've already used this so everything that's in it is like i don't know i've already used it but there's like a little zip pocket here there's another pocket right there and it does have the longer strap but I do like to wear it on my arm like well not like with my arm up here like I'll either wear it on my shoulder or my um the crook of my arm and yeah I just thought that was really pretty perfect for fall beautiful colors and yeah just really really pretty just perfect all the time bag Love it, love it, gorgeous. The next place that I went into was Wet Seal, and I picked up this beautiful, beautiful dress. You guys can't tell I'm really loving this color lately, but this dress has such nice detailing in it. Like, it looks embroidered, but it's not. It's, like, imprinted into the fabric, and the fabric is nice and kind of thick for the fall. And it's just a regular skater skirt or not skater shirt, skater dress, but then on the back it has this amazing, gorgeous detail that's bows all, there's three bows down the back, and oh my gosh, this is from the, I guess the Crush, whatever show that is on ABC Family, I don't watch it, but I love, love this dress, and it's so pretty, and I can't wait to wear that. So I went into Sephora for the sole purpose of getting the, what is this, Giorgio Armani um, Aqua de Gio, Gio, just help me guys, I, oh, Aqua de Gio, Gioia, 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 I, I need help, help pronouncing this, but I have been obsessed obsessed with this scent for who knows how long and I was debating on actually like going in getting the rollerball and I decided to do it it looks like this this is 0.34 fluid ounces and this smell guys this smell let me just I need to smell this Oh, oh my god, I love this scent so much. This is going to be my new favorite perfume, along with the other one that I got, because I was looking at the roller brow section. I've heard a lot about this perfume, but I have not actually smelled it until that, until that day, and it is the... Elizabeth Ian James Nirvana for her and the it is the white one Obviously the box is white But I've heard like so many people are raving about this perfume and Like how you mix the two together and it smells like amazing or something, but I Honestly, I smelled the white one. And I loved it and I go. Oh, I'll smell the black one Oh, you know what this this reminds me of? The scent um, Love from Gwen Stefani's perfume line, which is um, Harajuku Lovers or Harajuku Lovers. That reminds 
that's what it reminds me of but it smells so good if this is the new mugget muge peon peony musk and i love musky perfumes and i'm not a fan of like flower scents but surprisingly that one smells amazing the last thing that i got from sephora was a sephora brand lipstick and this is a really sleek packaging i have not worn this yet and this is in the color crush and it is this really deep purpley color and i was looking for um purchasing the occ uh cos well obsessive compulsives cosmetics lip tar in black dahlia but they did not have any left they were sold out so I went searching for one that was similar to it, and this is almost an exact match. So I am just going to swatch this for you guys. That's what it looks like. And yeah, I know, um, if you guys know, the, obviously the Black Dahlia is more pigmented, but this color is really pretty. Like, I don't have a color that's like this. I have one that's dark, similar to it, but not exactly like this, so... I really am really excited to wear this color. The next place that I went to was Earthbound and I picked up two hairpins from there. The first one is just, it's wooden and it's a hairpin. I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but it has a little uh, green gem right there and then a green stone on the top. And then it has a, what color is this? Like a gold chain detailing. And then just details put into the top of it. And this just like goes in your hair. Like you use, you like basically like twist your hair and put it through. And I really like these because especially like you're walking through a parking lot at night and you're, you're by yourself and you've got one of these in and someone comes up to you, you can like whip it out and be like, because these things are actually pretty sharp. So if you guys do end up getting hairpins, I would suggest being careful with them. And the last or the other hairpin that I got from Earthbound was the same style, the same thing with like the center stone right there and then the top, but it I just got a clear one because that'll go with everything. But basically everything is the same about these two hairpins except the length obviously and the colors. So moving on. The next store that I went to was called Wanderlust where I got two more hairpins and the first one has this beautiful, I don't, I'm so bad, like, come on guys, I lived in Florida for 14 years and I don't know the names of shells. Anyways, this shell, whatever, uh, on the top and then this one has a different one and these ones are wooden as well. These ones are handmade. Everything in these for Wanderlust is handmade. This ring, and this is a shell. Shell, I'm not joking. This is a shell that has been polished and cut to be a ring. Look how pretty that is. It's so unique, too. I got another one. This one's even more unique, but someone handmade these, guys. Like, if I ever tried to do this, I would probably end up breaking the shell or like it would shatter on me but I have no idea how they did it but I know that these are beautiful and they only come like this color only came in this size obviously because it's the one shell this set this one came in one size and so they have other shells with different designs that are bigger sizes but just you guys just got to go in and like try them on and everything so the last place that I popped into was the store Fuego, where if you guys have seen some of my previous hauls, I got this ring from that store that's like my tree ring. I love it so much. I wear it all the time. I never take it off because it's sterling silver, so there's really no need to take it off. But I got four things from there, three necklaces because all their jewelry is buy two, get a third one free. And then I got a sweater, but I'm showing the sweater first because I'm saving the necklaces for last because those are my favorite things in the entire haul. 
uh, like in the entire month and I just got them a couple days ago. Anyways, the sweater is by the brand Yoki and it has not a fox but a badger on the front of it and it is so soft like I don't know what they used for this but it is soft amazing oh my gosh oh uh, on the tag on the tag it says suggested retail price $70 but Fuego was selling it for a lot a lot less than that honestly if they were selling this for $70 one I don't think they would sell any and two like I wouldn't buy this for $70 because for a sweater like yeah it's really soft but that's ridiculous All right so the last things that I got were Fuego brand Fuego, Fuego brand uh, jewelry necklaces and they came in boxes. They packaged them in boxes like this just for safekeeping. And this is the first one that I opened. This is just on top. This, uh, these are all long chains, by the way. And this is what it looks like. It is a, uh, it's like, it's brown, basically. It is a brown a pendant with a gold bee on it, but it is not just a pendant. This is a compass, and oh my gosh. Guys, I am obsessed with maps. I want to get a compass tattooed on my arm, but I am obsessed with maps and everything that has to do with geography, and when, she, when I saw it, I was like, because I didn't know what it was at first because they didn't like have them open or anything. So when she said that it was a compass, I was like, that's it. You just sold it to me just by telling me that it was a compass, basically. Oh, all right. So the next one looks like this. And this is actually the, let's see, what is this? This is a map of Europe with all of the astrological signs on it and this is also a compass if you can't tell always always points north anyways so the last one is kind of a shorter chain and it is silver but it is this it is a blue bottle that has metal edging around it and a metal cap but i don't think you can take this off <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, you can take the top. Oh, I might have to put something in this. Like a scented oil or something. But it looks like this. It is very, very unique, and I love it. So that is it for my collective August haul. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not already, please subscribe because become a member. Oh, become a member of the cat pack and give a cat a home. So I hope y'all enjoy it and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.